Oh, I'm on Wultus, and today we're going to be looking at the next step in the final battle uh, between Saladin the Wise and the Emperor. Frederick. Now, at the end of this video, after you are done watching it, I would like everyone to go to the comments section below and say who you think uh, is the winner, because this is obviously going to be something that I could play this for several more hours and figure out who wins eventually, but to be honest, it's, um, the, so the software for recording this that I use is a bit of a hassle to use, um, and it's always been a hassle to use, so I'd like to just keep it uh, low, so what I want everyone to do is go in the comments section, tell me who you think should win, and why and then in the next video uh, next video of the series I will be analyzing that result alright so let's get back to the commentary so we see uh, at the opening here Saladin attacked the Emperor and unfortunately not much damage was done not that there was much damage to be done since there's quite a strong moat around the castle. But we are seeing stone being offloaded, and the knights continue to come as the battle moves along. Meanwhile, the lumber, it doesn't look like we're ever going to run out of wood. Uh, I thought for a while that we might, but it just does not seem plausible. It seems like the AI does actually know how to uh, protect its forests. Now the Emperor is on top of the Order of Merit, um, and is ahead monetarily, however the troop count always swings around. I think Saladin has a higher top troop count, but uh, the Emperor definitely is no slouch there. However, um, uh, for Saladin's side, we do see that uh, there are plenty of cavalry raids, and Saladin has been relatively effective at holding control of the farms, but it looks like uh, we're not actually seeing any archers out there right now, which I find quite surprising. So right now, the farms are a neutral field, but some cavalry archers have moved into the territory. And the Emperor hasn't sent anybody out onto the fields either, so we're going to see who ends up taking the fields today. But, uh, looks like Saladin is well protected, currently. And some more knights are on the way. And uh, we will potentially be seeing an attack of some sort. And by the looks of it, it's just a patrol here. There's a swordsman out here. But I don't think he's going to get much farther. He's come into the range of the towers. And now he's being really nailed by those arrows. Not a fun time, to be honest. Not a fun time at all. Here come the swords. The knights are moving in for the attack. There's currently no one at the quarry. Defending it, that is. So this quarry is easy game. And the attack is partially successful. But the real question is, is it really worthwhile to spend three or four nights on killing a quarry if all the knights die? Do you really end up with uh, a net profit off of that? I don't know. I, well, I guess it depends on how much stone the quarry had saved up. 
but that doesn't actually really matter that much because the quarry also mines at a certain rate, so that's something else to be taken into consideration. But Saladin is actually quite close on the on the on the gold game. Would we be seeing an overtake in this video? Because if he overtakes him on the gold, I wonder if he's going to jump to the top of the Order of Merit. But if he overtakes him on the gold, that could also indicate that the tides of the game are slowly changing. And that Saladin may eventually have the economic advantage. However, that's not necessarily a certainty since the Emperor still is growing as time passes. Which means that the economic advantage certainly does not exist as long as that is a reality. Oh, he's uh, sneaking up on the fire throwers. Uh, a very cheeky move there, but it really saves them the trouble. Uh, saves the swordsman the trouble of having to deal with those attacks. Although, to be honest, it did pretty well never be lost. Alright, the knights are moving in for reaction. One's already down to half. Moving in rapidly. Got stopped at the tower. Dodging fire. In for the quarry. Oh no, not in for the quarry. No, they're not in for the quarry at all. Countered an archer. And they're on the tower. But they're not going to last long there. Very unfortunate. Meanwhile, the swordsmen are out and about. Prowling the desert, moving north as Saladin takes control of this region, and uh, the, the trees are making a comeback in the north. Is there only one woodcutter's hut right now? Well, two if you count the one that's in Saladin's base. It looks like there is. Very interesting. But here comes a big attack going right through the swamps, really slowing them down, but if they can sit here uh, unmolested, maybe that's not the most contemporary term to use, but uh, I'll use it nevertheless. If per adventure they remain here unmolested, they may take an advantage in the ensuing combat. And here they come. Moving up to the staging point. It's a uh, quite a pushed back staging point as opposed to some that we see that are down here, which I think is actually to their advantage. However, uh, they are getting hit by this ballista, which is dampening the attack somewhat. But uh, the first wave Swordsman comes in, the mangonels are firing, and they do have range uh, on the hill somewhere, but uh, that's really more of the edge of their range. And they are quite effective at taking down several of the swordsmen, as the swordsmen now move in, coming closer, closer to the towers, really going for those easy spaces along here would probably be a good choice, however, there are archers, so that's not necessarily an advantageous position to take. But there's plenty of swordsmen, there's more coming down. However, many of them are already uh, severely injured before even reaching the walls, which uh, is not uh, a state to be in. Wow, they're about to eat through on this side. Not that it matters very much, but... Uh, the ones to really worry about are the ones right here. However, I think Saladin definitely has good coverage in taking them on. So it's not really going to be a problem.
One of the gates is open, so Saladin's economy is not shut down. So uh, that does speak to Saladin's disadvantage here. And also, uh, another word on the castle's design. There are very few places on this castle that are actually exposed to the walls on the inside. And this is one of those few places. Uh, which is why, of course, Saladin is going in for the attack here. But uh, that means that if you do break through in most places, you won't actually get a breach. Wow. Very uh, wise design, if I do say so myself. However, there are still a couple of noteworthy gaps, as we saw just then. Now Saladin is moving in for the counter-attack. Some cavalry marching in. I can't say marching in. Turn up. Well, I guess technically you could say they are marching, but uh, that's not actually what they're doing. Though. Uh, they're galloping in, maybe. They're moving to battle. Wow, those knights absolutely got rinsed by uh, by that uh, arrow coverage. The emperor certainly is not looking well, as uh, the emperor has recently attacked, so his troop count is actually quite low. And look at that order of merit. Saladin is actually up in the order of merit. Uh, very interesting. Um, a rather unusual situation now. Uh, let's see. Both of the both uh, are not uh, manable. As you can see, the swordsmen aren't really making a concerted effort to attack here, and that's obviously because. Let's be honest, there's no real point to attack here. Right. moving in for another attack. However, there are some archers right here, ready for action. At quite a bit of damage was done to it. Oh wow! All of the damage was done to those knights, and unfortunately for them, they didn't make it out alive. They're not going home to their families tonight. That's for sure. Meanwhile, there's a little garrison here on the farms. Looks like the emperor is protecting this side of the field, but. Of course, using slow-moving swordsmen is probably... It, it is a good idea, but maybe not the best idea. And look at that strong effect of fire right there. Some tactical fire, very useful. Really tore through those swordsmen as they came close. Meanwhile, the Emperor is sending more knights, and the Emperor is back on top. Back on top of the game, and look at that. The gap uh, has widened once again, the wealth gap. And is there no end in sight, is my question. <laughs> Which is why I'm, I'm terminating the series next episode, so uh, that's why I need your decisions in the comments section. <sighs> All right. The archers continue to move forward. They engaged some crossbowmen, but the crossbowmen didn't really manage to stay in the action, unfortunately for them. Now I don't see any woodcutter's huts. 
down here. So I guess they both gave up on woodcutting after, after a while. Ago. The archers are really doing quite a bit of damage, but uh, currently they're out of sight. The crossbow man went in for a reaction, but didn't make it out. Is there a lot of trade going on? Yep, some uh, food selling. Selling food, that must mean that uh, quite prosperous. You can see here, yes, quite a bit. The knights moving once again to take down the quarries. This time attacking both of them. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. that's a that's a that was a close one. That one was about to be taken down, but unfortunately for those knights, they did not succeed in their secondary objective. Swordsmen are moving in once again. This time in close formation. Uh, under the coverage of archers. The question is, where will they attack? They are obviously moving beyond the center, so they are attacking something. It looks like they intercepted some archers. But uh, they're probably not going to really make it in. Due to this heavy uh, coverage of this region with crossbow fire, and look at that. As time has gone by, the Emperor's soldiers have become more numerous. The walls are more heavily manned. It has become even more difficult for Saladin to penetrate those defenses. Trebuchet firing on um, Celadine's farm, presumably. And here we see some swordsmen uh, moving in to protect the farms from Celadine's occupation. Oh, there's a, a new woodcutter. Oh, wait, no, that's. That one is not the one that's over here. That one is the one in the base. This one. Wait, no, there's two in the base. All right. Two in the base. There's one in the bush. And two in the bush is one in the hand. So one in the hand is then four in the base. I think I, think I figured it out, folks. I think that's how it works. I just made... I just became a billionaire. Not even gonna lie. No, I'm joking. It's, it's not true. I did not become a billionaire, unfortunately for me. Um, well, not as, as if it's some great misfortune that I did not suddenly became, become extremely wealthy. <laughs> it, it's not. It'd be nice, but uh, it's just not how it ends up. And look at that swapping position, the swordsman killing off the archers, the other swordsman killing off the crossbowmen. Classic. Classic Stronghold Crusader. AI at its best. Well, players do that. Where did we shoot? 
Wow, the knights really moving in on those farms in the back. Well, not really to kill them. I don't know where they're going. <laughs> Uh, I think uh, we see the, that famous AI. Unfortunately, that that was actually a target. Wow, pretty good. That's pretty good. Dropping off some hubbles. Well, actually, mercenary post would have been a much better target. Let's be honest. The hubbles are well. Let's just say. Their hovels. They're very replaceable. Look at that wealth. If you drop the mercenary post and then park your units on it, then they can't rebuild it. Of course, parking your units on it is probably a bad idea, especially for the Emperor who doesn't have any fast moving units, so it would be a very brief occupation. And, uh,. Well, what, what you'd have to do is, you come across here with some horse archers, and you send them in here, and of course you send in some support, some knights, taking down the mercenary post, and the horse archers shoot down the archers on the towers, and then they patrol around here, so that this area becomes undefended from the archers. And because of the walls, you can also protect them from the other towers somewhat. And then you can use the knights to occupy this place, so that any enemies you kill at this point are not are not replaceable. So even if they've got all the money in the world, there's nothing they can do. Saladin uh, and. Uh, Ayubid boys, they can't do anything. There's nothing they can do, nothing at all. Because the AI wants to build its mercenary post in that place, and if you block it, it's blocked. That, that tip's for free. It's a free tip, everyone. You don't have to pay for that. Well, if you wanted to play, it, I wouldn't say no. But, uh, just full disclosure, it, it is free. Alright. Wow, they're actually pretty close right now. Saladin is just uh, less than a thousand behind. Um, about to be a thousand, though, as Saladin... Uh, I'm thinking, oh, he's going to build up his army, but I'm not actually seeing it being built up. Um, don't know what's going to happen. I don't know. I have no idea. But what I do know is that there's more knights. Uh going in ready to get killed and actually this is a good target compared to the other one because this one you don't have to run past all these towers to attack but that being said it still is a, a pretty hard attack let's be honest you just try to take down the the little stockpile that's indestructible and if you glitch the game you can have you can destroy uh, the quarries without destroying the stockpiles thereby blocking up this the stone, which is uh, a pretty unfortunate event. I forget what exactly does it. There's there's some way to do it. I think maybe if you destroy a quarry while you're zoomed out. I'm not sure. I have no idea. I, I've seen it happen. I don't know why it happens, but I've seen it happen. I just don't really know how to repeat it. Let's do this. Oh, no, they're not going for the quarry. Oh yeah, they are. Alright, so the stockpile was destroyed. It was destroyed. Okay, so maybe that's not it. That's not the issue. Maybe it's uh, flat in the world. Maybe that's it. Laying on that. Oh wow, they're really moving in, trying to take the territory. It looks like they will be successful. Meanwhile, little archer here, 
cheeky, cheeky guy on a horse. I'm trying to make it through, but even if he had made it past that point, there was a knight heading straight for him, which would have been a very uncomfortable situation. However, the actual situation itself did end up being quite uncomfortable as well. Let's take a look, order of merit. Oh, Saladin up in the money and the troops, but still down on the order of merit. Uh, there's some hidden calculations here that the game's not giving me, but uh, you know what? It's fine. It's, it's not a problem. Um, we just know that that's how the order of merit merits the order. Does the order merit the merit? Or does the merit order the merit? Or does the order order the merit? Or does the merit merit the order? Uh, what does the merit merit the merit? And the order order the order. I think those are all some uh, interesting questions that I actually do not want to get into. I'm not going to explain why, but uh, it's it's just one of those things where you, one time in the universe you have to say it, you just have to say no, and this is that one time in this universe that I just have to say no. That's something that I don't want to explain, uh, unfortunately. I know how how much everybody knows I like to explain things, but. You know, sometimes, sometimes I don't want to, and this is that time uh, that I do not want to. Explain. And uh, there we go. Nice little swordsman. And by the looks of it, crossed over there, uh, which is always an interesting maneuver to take. A little crossover there. There he did. He did it again. A little crossover. Think, oh, he has to walk around the corner. No, no, he doesn't. He can, he can step around the corner. Uh, classic. Uh, I'll do that in real life sometimes. Um, although generally I don't because it's, it's kind of weird to do it, especially if you do it in public. You just take your leg and you reach around the corner and, and you step that way. Holy cannoli, yeah, what a weirdo to do that in public. Holy cannoli. I, I do it in my ho in my own home because it's convenient. Let's be honest. Um, being able to cover that, that distance, making that shortcut, that's a a pretty good shout. But uh, doing it in public, no, not gonna do it. But I, I, know, I can I can imagine that. I go to some convention and then someone recognizes me and says. Holy cannoli, why don't you you do that, uh, you know, round the corner thing? Show, show me how to do it. Show me how it's done. Show me how the master does it. And, uh, who am I to refuse? <laughs> oh, snap. Crossbow. Shooting some bolts, some pearls. Uh, unfortunately... In... Crossbow isn't really that useful in such small numbers. You need a much larger number for it to be useful in Stronghold Crusader, especially if you're going up against archers, because the archers can just uh, outfire them. Especially if there's a numerical advantage for the archers. Saladin is up on top of the Order of Merit, down on the money, but up on the troops. And by the looks of it, 240 troops, uh, which is quite a bit, uh, will be seeing quite a hard attack. Not that it'll succeed though, because let's be honest, it won't. Some 
more knights going in uh, to the meat grinder. Where are we going? Where will we stay? Look, one of them got slowed down. The other one got slowed down as well. Oh, how unfortunate. All right. Now we're going for the quarry. And the flat mode does not cause that issue either. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I don't know what the cause of the issue is, but I'm not fine. That's that's for sure. Look at that. That swordsman really held back quite a few of those horse archers, but unfortunately, it was a futile effort. Well, no. I mean, it, it did accomplish something. I can't say that it's futile if it accomplished something. No. Um, so I can't really say that it's futile. Uh, tragic effort, maybe? I don't know, but uh, what I do know is that Emperor Frederick is really loving that money. As Saladin, look at that. They're already back getting close to each other again in... Uh, Amount of wealth. And in the miracle amount of troops. It's staying about the same for Saladin. I don't know what Saladin's waiting for, but uh, at this rate, it's not going to come soon. See, the trees are growing quite densely here. In the north, trees as well. But now there's only one kind of tree. Which uh, I think is something interesting to note. There's only one kind of tree left in the north. Those, uh, I think those are the cherry palms. Look at that, the farmer's coming in to put their goods on the stockpile. Cavalry archers are moving out and back in and uh, all about. And Saladin is back up on the wealth, uh, but not by much. For Frederick, back up on the order of merit, though. So I don't know what's happening. I do not know. But they're very close. Here is 12.38. Four archers. Keep coming in and out. Saladin so hasn't actually increased the troop count. So he's definitely waiting for something. And look at that. The armorers are actually not at work. That indicates an economic shortfall. Well, what it indicates is a population deficit. So Adin is up on the order of merit now. Here comes the swordsman. Moving out of the chamber. And the big attack is afoot. Plenty of slaves, archers, swordsmen, fire throwers, cavalry archers. Gathering atop the hill. Swordsmen don't stand a chance. 
artillery is present as well. And all we're waiting on is the heavy infantry, which uh, will be arriving shortly. Now let's examine the towers. None of the towers are particularly weak. So the one most likely to drop is of course this one, but it won't happen necessarily. Now the trebuchets are aiming to take care of the engineers. There it is. The slaves move in. They try to win, but fortunately, it's a futile effort. And just like that, the castle is defended. All right, let's stop here. Game four. All right, so. The next episode will be the final episode, so what I want everyone to do in the comments section is put down who you think won and why, and we'll be then talking about that in the next episode, and maybe also having a look back at the series and how things went. So I thank you all for watching, and I will be seeing you all next time on Awiltos Over and Out.